Right guys, so today we'll be changing the differential fluid on this amazing crocodile, Mercedes W140. Uh, should take around a little under two quarts of fluid. So we'll see how that goes, pretty exciting. All right, we're gonna be draining this diff fluid, already loosened the fill plug. Not too bad looking, but I'm gonna put fresh fluid in there. A few moments later. Okay, so the diff is still draining, and uh, so I'll let it drain a little more, and then we'll put the drain plug back and we'll refill it with fresh diff fluid, 75W140. All right, stop draining, install this back. All right, I'm gonna be putting this fluid in right over there. Say again? I have to go clean my knife at some point. Okay. Like one day I'll have to take the time yeah. to do it. I get all the dust out of it. Yeah, good idea. Rebuild it. No, Whole not rebuild. Bad. I just need to clean it. <laughs> a restoration of a knife. Make a video about well, it. Well, the problem is for the knife is that because it's a pocket knife, it folds. Is uh, you gotta get actually find a way to get into the part it folds into and mm -hmm. clean it. Perfect. Yeah. Crazy like that, huh? Well, it's kind of hard to get, you know, down in there. Yeah, for it. sure. No kidding, really? Yeah. Wow. They found out that, that when they said whatever my dad had available, they put in their fing 30 weight their dad had available for the fing Camaro. All right, guys, that's it. The diff fluid change is done. Everything is wrapped up. Amazing. Don't forget to change your diff fluids, guys. It's really important.